Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to talk about how to compute the effective length factor K uh, using MATCAD. So uh, before we start, please don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification button. And if you like this video, please put the thumb up as well. Okay, so uh, for the uh, video I'm going to show you the reference that I'm going to use this is the AISC uh, standard so uh, if you go to the commentary uh, part and appendix 7 you can find the um, approximate value of effective length factor uh, K and uh, this is the uh, a case that uh, we go into um, compute in this video which is the uh, brace frame and for the uh, uh, formula we can use this one okay uh, first we need to uh, find the uh, property of um, the upper floor column the design column, the lower floor column, and the left and the right side of the beam for the joint A and joint B. And uh, you can look at the condition uh, below um, here. So uh, if it is the uh, pin uh, joint, uh, we can take the value of a G here, uh, 10, and for the uh, rigid joint, can take the G here uh, one and G is the uh, uh, value that we can compute from the formula I will show you in detail uh, uh, soon okay so um, now we go to the uh, uh, our market so uh, first we need to set the um, concrete uh, uh, property which is the um, uh, strength so this example is for concrete structure but uh, you can use the same idea and apply it to uh, the steel uh, structure as well I will call this um, uh, FYC which is for the uh, column And another one is for uh, beam, sorry. Next one is the uh, young modulus. So uh, I will use the uh, function uh, of uh, FY. Now you can test it. this is the uh, Riza and next one is the moment of inner shear I and it is the function of B and uh, H okay so the uh, next input is the um, property of the column so we have C1, C2 and C3 so uh, we need uh, the width of the column 
so I will just zoom the side here like this first and the last one is the length of the uh, column now we can copy this and this is for C2 C3 Okay, now we uh, can import uh, like this for for the upper uh, floor beam and the lower floor beam. And uh, this is the reference. To save time, I will um, pass what I did earlier. Okay, so this is B1 and B2 and this is B3 and B4. And uh, next one, we need to um, set the condition of join A and join B. And uh, like I uh, mentioned earlier, you can uh, find it here. If the join is a uh, pin, we can take the value 10. And if it is a uh, fix or reset, we can take the value of 1 for G. Now uh, we can set the condition, so uh, let's say join A and uh, we import the um, combo box, so this will be a uh, fix. This one um, pin. Sorry. And for the last one, I will uh, call it compute. And we do the same for join B. Now, uh, next we can compute for the uh, stiffness. Mm, here so we will compute for the column and for the beam and then we compute for G here okay so first we compute for the uh, column we call this C and A A stand for the join A here so it is the summation of the uh, Still left for the column C1 and C2. So uh, it, will, it will be like uh, this. I show you the formula first. So this will, will be uh, for the C2 here, and this is for the C1, which is the upper uh, floor column. All right, so we can uh, import the value here. Sorry. And I is the moment of inertia, and we can put uh, input the B uh, C two, sorry, and H uh, C two. Next one is L, which is uh, this one. LC2. Okay, we do the same for this part. We copy and paste it here, but uh, we change this to 1 and 1. This is 1. We can show the result here. I will hide this. 
and uh, we copy this uh, and paste it here this is for the join B so we need to do the summation for C2 and C3 so we can change this uh, 3 okay so now we got the value for the column next one is for the beam uh, I think we, uh, we copy this one first and change this to B and this is B and we do the summation for uh, B1 and B2 and for the joint B we uh, do for the B3 and B4 now this is um, B1 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 Okay, next we can do the same for the join B, but uh, we change this to 3 and this one part is 4. And this one is B. So uh, now we got the value here, we can compute for G. Now uh, we have GA and GB, so uh, after we compute for the GA and GB, we can compute for the value uh, K using this formula. But uh, first, let's compute for GA. So uh, GA. Uh, because we have the condition here, we need to use if function. So if join A here equal to uh, fixed, this value is 1. And if join A pin, this will be um, 10. And uh, we can test it. Sorry. So 1, 10, and the last one is for the compute uh, uh, value. So L. And uh, we can just divide this value by this value. So we copy it. And paste. Now we got this value. We can copy this and paste it here. And this is for B. Okay, uh, next part is the uh, uh, K. So, uh, we need to move this here. And we're going to write this uh, equation. And save time. I will uh, pass what I did here. So this is the equation that uh, from uh, this uh, reference. So uh, I write this uh, in the function of k. And to solve for this equation, we can use the uh, bisection uh, method. And uh, you can read the bisection method online and uh, you can use uh, this website and uh, you can follow the step here. So first we need to compute for the middle point. And then uh, if the uh, C is the, is the root of the equation, the function will uh, equal to zero. And we can follow the step as follow. Okay, so you can look at this. So first we have C equal to uh, A plus B divided by two. And if C is the uh, root of the equation, the absolute value of B minus A will be so small. So we can set the value here. And uh, otherwise, we can follow the uh, step 
of the method and uh, you can look it here okay so i will not explain in detail about this method but uh, you can use it like this and then uh, we can uh, find k by section and a is the value here 0 0.5 to 1 so 0 0.5 and b equal to 1 so we got this value so this is the uh, k value and uh, you can verify this method as well by try to apply the k value that we just compute into this equation again so you can see that uh, the value is zero so the, qu the equation here is uh, satisfied so now we got the value uh, uh, k which is the effective length factor um, you can change the size of column as needed so um, let's try something different here let's say uh, this is uh, uh, 700 okay you can see the value chain and uh, okay so this is the reason okay so this is it for this video i hope you guys enjoy it and apply to your own project and don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification button if you like this video please put a thumb up as well thank you so much for watching i'll see you guys in my next video